created the sun is allah almighty who created the moon is allah almighty who runs the rivers and lakes is allah ladies and gentlemen you heard farik naik believe me he is indeed 15 years he's been captivating audiences all over the world from the time he was 8 years old thank you for that very scintillating address now we have arrived at the moment we will all waiting for i have great pleasure in calling upon dr zakir naik to make his presentation the man himself dr naik the man himself he will address you as i said before on does god exist dr naik the floor is all yours Alhamdulillah Was salatu was salam ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajmain amma ba'd A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Sanurihim ayatina fi la faqi wa fi anfusihim hatta yatabayyan lahum annahu laq Rabbi shahli sadri wa yassirli amri wa halul ugdatam min lisani yafqaw qawli the respected people on the dais my respected elders and my dear brothers and sisters i welcome all of you with the islamic greetings assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh may peace mercy and blessings of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala of almighty god be on all of you alhamdulillah it's a great pleasure as well as an honor for me to be back in sri lanka after 13 years i had come here 13 years back in the year 1997 and it's a pleasure to be back again in the city of colombo and to see such a vast gathering alhamdulillah may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward all of you i'd also like to thank the organizers the forum for muslim organizations and people told me that it is the first time that all the muslim organizations got together to organize this unique event peace for all and the theme of today's day is peace through religion and my son he started the event with the topic peace to religion and i am going to conclude it with the second part of this session does god exist my son farik naik as you may have heard he tried to prove through various different scriptures that almighty god is one he has got no images and he, he alone should be worshiped through various different scriptures scriptures of christianity hinduism judaism islam etc but what about those human beings who do not believe in a religion who do not believe in religious scriptures how will we how will we prove to them about the existence of god how will we let them know how to achieve peace so this second half of the program is mainly meant to convince the atheists and as i mentioned the topic of my talk today is 
does God exist? <clears throat> Whenever I meet an atheist, the first thing I do is I congratulate that atheist. People may wonder that why is Zakir congratulating an atheist? The reason I congratulate an atheist is because he is thinking. Most of the other human beings, they do blind belief. Most of the people, they are Hindus because their fathers are Hindus. He is a Christian because father is a Christian. He is a Jew because father is a Jew. Many people are Muslims because their fathers are Muslims. This atheist, he is thinking. And he may be looking around at the people, the different types of God that they worship. He disagrees with them. The reason I am congratulating the atheist is because he has said the first part of the Islamic Shahada, La ilaha, there is no God. The only thing I have to do is prove to him illa Allah, but Allah, which I shall do inshallah. To the other non-Muslims who worship a wrong God, first I have to prove to him that the God he or she is worshipping is a false God. And then I have to prove to him about the true God. Here, half my job is done. The atheist has already said the first part of the Islamic creed, the first part of the Islamic shahada, la ilaha, there is no God. Half my job is done. Only thing I have to do is but Allah, but Almighty God, which I shall do inshallah, and then believe in Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Whenever I meet an atheist, the first question I ask him is that what do you mean by God? For example, if I say this is a book. For anyone to say this is not a book, he should know the definition of book. If he does not know the definition of book, he cannot say this is not a book. For anyone to say this is not a book, he may not know what is this, what I'm carrying in the hand. But he should at least know the definition of a book to say this is not a book. Some people may differ, they say, no, that is Akir. If I know this is a pen, and if I don't know the definition of a book, I can say, this is not a book. I disagree with them. Even if you know this is a pen, but if you don't know the definition of what I'm asking you, for example, I say, this is a column. You may know the definition of a pen, but if you don't know of a definition of a column, you may not be able to say whether this is a column or not. Because kalam in Arabic means a pen. Even in Urdu, kalam means a pen. So to say this is not so and so, you should know the definition of so and so. So if I say this is a book, for you to say this is not a book, you should know the definition of book.